What's up guys, Iovo here, and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be going over 25 different ways that you can speed up your computer. Now, if you guys wanna see more videos like this, be sure to hit that like button down below. And with that being said, let's get started. So first we're going to be going over different settings that you can turn off because you won't need them and turning these settings off can help you optimize your performance. So first of all, we're going to disable background apps. So all you wanna do is press the windows button and then look up settings to open up your settings. And we are going to be here a lot. And so to disable your background apps, all you have to do is go into privacy and then go into background apps like so. And then here, these are apps that run in the background. You can turn off the ones that you don't use. So for example, I'm not using my camera or Cortana or Farm Hero Saga. And you wanna just do this for all the apps that you don't want running in the background. Next, we're going to be removing any unwanted services that run in the background as well. So all you wanna do is type Windows R and it's going to open up the run command. And then you wanna type in msconfig and then press OK. And then here, what you want to do is you want to go to services and you want to click on hide all Microsoft services. And then once you do that, you can start disabling everything else. So I'm going to press disable all and then click on okay. And then you can restart your computer to implement these settings. Next, you want to press the windows key and open up your task manager and then go into startup and then sort by status. And here what you can do is you can disable any apps that you don't want to automatically open anytime you boot up your PC. So for example, I can just click on the Creative Cloud Desktop, click on Disable, and now when I turn my computer on, it's not going to automatically boot this app. Similarly, we're also going to be disabling our search indexing. So to do this, you wanna go into your settings, click on Search, and then click on Searching Windows on the left side. And then you wanna scroll down and go into the Advanced Search Indexer settings. And then here you want to click on the advanced button and right here, you're going to see rebuild. And so all you want to do is click on rebuild like so, and then click on okay. Next, we're going to be disabling any unnecessary visual effects that take up processing power. So in your settings, you want to go ahead and go to system about, and then you're going to see the advanced system settings and you're going to click on that. And then under the performance, you're going to click on settings once again. And in the visual effects tab, you want to click on adjust for best performance and then apply and then click on OK. Similarly, we can also turn off transparency effects by going into the settings, going into personalization, and then under colors, you want to turn off the transparency effects and this will make things run slightly faster. Now, if you don't use OneDrive, you can also turn off OneDrive syncing. And so all you want to do is click on the OneDrive logo on the bottom right. And if you don't see this, all you have to do is search for OneDrive, open it up, and then click on this logo, and then go into help and settings, and then go into pause syncing. And then you can pause the syncing for as long as you would like. So I'm going to click on 24 hours. And now syncing is paused while I'm going to be using my computer. Next, we're going to be disabling Windows tips and tricks. So these are unnecessary notifications that you may be getting. So in your settings, you wanna go into system and then you wanna go into notifications and then click on get tips, tricks, and suggestions. I'm assuming you guys already know how to use Windows, so you don't need these notifications and they can slow things down. So we're just going to disable them. And those are all the different things you can disable to make your computer faster. Next, we're going to be focusing on how we can remove malware that may be bogging down our system and maybe even you know, giving your computer viruses. So the first way you can check for viruses is by doing a Windows scan. So all you wanna do is click on the Windows key and look up Windows security and then open it up and then click on virus and threat protection. And we're going to go into scan options. And then what you wanna do is you wanna run a full scan, click on scan now, and then Windows will go and run this program through all your files to see if there are any threats or any viruses that may be on your system. Now, in addition to the full scan, you wanna go back into the same settings and also run an offline scan so you can comprehensively scan through your entire system to make sure that there is no malware. 
And if you use the offline scan, of course, it's going to also turn your device off for about 15 minutes. Next, we're going to be going over ways to remove all the files and applications that you don't need. But before we do, I just want to give a quick 30 second shout out to ExpressVPN, which is the sponsor of today's video. ExpressVPN is a one-click VPN for your computer, phone, and tablet that allows you to browse the web anonymously. ExpressVPN is secure and allows you to surf the web without worrying about sensitive data, such as your IP address being leaked. You can also use ExpressVPN to set your IP to over 94 different countries, allowing you to browse different Netflix libraries or access content not available in your country. And this is a feature that I use a ton. If you guys are interested, you can use my link down below in the description to get three months free when you sign up for a one-year plan. Anyways, back to the video. So the first thing we're going to be doing is uninstalling any applications that we don't need. And so to do this, all you have to do is go into your settings, go into apps, and then under apps and features, look for apps that you've downloaded that you don't use anymore. And then you can click on them and click on uninstall like so, and it will uninstall those apps. And you can do that for all of the applications that you don't use anymore. So the first thing we're going to be cleaning is our registry. And the registry basically has a bunch of files that may not have gotten cleaned up when you deleted other programs. And so it can be difficult to clean the registry, but there's a ton of free programs out there that you can use. So right now I'm using RegSofts, but you can also use OsLogix and there's a bunch of other ones. None of them are a sponsor, but this is just the one I use. And so when you download any of these free tools, all you wanna do is run a full scan. So as you can see right now, the scan is almost halfway done and there's already been 178 errors found, which is quite a bit. So once the scan is done and all the errors are found, in my case, over 2000 errors, all you wanna do is click the fix button and it'll run once again and fix the errors and remove all of the files that you don't need. Now we're also going to be removing all other temporary files. So all you wanna do is go into your settings and then go into system and then storage. And then here, what you wanna do is you want to find temporary files, which is right here. And then you wanna click on it and it's going to scan and find all of your temporary files. Now here, once everything has been scanned, you can check off all the temporary files that you don't need. Now, one thing that is very, very important is that downloads are considered a temporary file. So you wanna make sure that downloads are unchecked unless you do wanna clear all of your downloads, which I don't wanna do. So I'm gonna check everything except for downloads and the recycling bin. And then you can click on remove files to remove all of these temporary files, which in my case is almost two gigabytes worth. And then finally, just to be safe, we're also going to be removing all temporary files by using the run prompt. So all you wanna do is click Windows R, and then what you wanna do is type in temp, click on okay, and then you're going to click continue. And then you're going to see all of these temporary files. Now it might ask you to grant administrator access, which it did for me on my other monitor. But once you do that, it should open up all of these files. And then what you can just do is go through them and make sure there's nothing important. Press control A to select them all and you can delete those files. And once again, I'm going to press continue to give administrator access and then we should be good. And similarly, you just wanna press Windows R one more time. And this time type in percent, temp percent, click okay. And these are also temporary files that you can delete. So you wanna just press Control A, press delete, and it's going to recycle all of these items. And then any programs that are open, it's not going to let those files be deleted. So you can skip those or close those programs. But right now it's for the programs that I'm using. So I can't delete those ones, but that is how you delete all of your temporary files. Next up, we're going to be removing all of the corrupted files that are still on our system. So what you wanna do is you wanna press the Windows key and then type in CMD to open the command prompt. Then you wanna right click on the command prompt and click on run as administrator, click on yes. And then once you've opened this up, you wanna type in SFC space slash scan now with no spaces in between the words and then press enter and it's going to do a system scan for any corrupted files. Once the scan is completed, the command prompt will either tell you that there were no corrupted files found, like the message right here, or it will tell you that it found corrupted files and they have now been removed. Next, we're going to be running a disk cleanup, which is essential to make Windows faster. And so all you wanna do is search for disk cleanup and open up the application. And then what you wanna do is click on clean up system files and it's going to scan your drive um, and go through the disk. So as you can see right now, it's just calculating how much space I can free up. 
And then here you can scroll through and check all of the files that you want to clean off of your disk. Uh, once again, your recycling bin is going to show up, so make sure that's not checked if you want to keep those files. And then you can click on OK, and then click on Delete Files, and it's going to clean up your drive. And once that's done, you're going to be removing all of the files in your disk drive that you're not going to be using. Now, the final set of tips we're going to be going over are going to be different ways that you can optimize the performance of your computer. So the first thing you want to do is go into your settings and then you want to go into update and security, which is at the bottom. And then you want to click on Windows Update. And here what you want to do is just check for updates. If you're not on the latest Windows version and there are certain glitches that are happening in your computer, the latest version might have a fix that will address that issue. So you always want to make sure you're on the latest version of Windows 10. And then in the same page, you can also click on change active hours to set the hours you're going to be using your computer for, for sure. So for me, it's between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. And now Windows knows not to update my computer during these hours because I'm going to be using it to do work. Next, we're going to be changing our maximum processing speed. So all you want to do is open up the control panel. And in the control panel, you want to go into hardware and sound. And over here, you want to go into the power options. And within these settings, you just want to click on edit power plan. And then you want to go to change advanced power settings. And then here, what you can do is you can look for your processor power management, expand it, and you want to set the minimum processor rate state to zero and the maximum to 100 and then click on apply and OK. Now within the same power option settings, you also want to just click on power options. And here what you can do is you can choose your power plan and you want to select high performance to optimize for speed. You can also change your performance settings within the window settings. And all you want to do is search for power and sleep settings. And then here what you can do is go into additional power settings. And once again, you can change it to high performance here as well. We're also going to be changing the automatic maintenance settings. So to do this, you want to open up your control panel and then you want to go into system and security. And then here you want to click on security and maintenance. And within security and maintenance, what you can do is you can go to change maintenance settings. So open up the maintenance tab and then go to change maintenance settings. And here what you can do is select a time at night for the maintenance tasks to run every day. Uh, by default, it might be during a time while you're working and that can slow down processes. So it makes more sense to choose a time where you're not going to be using your computer, but your computer might still be on. Next, we're going to be defragmenting our drives. And this has a really large effect if you're using a HDD. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to open up your settings and then go into system, storage, and then under more storage settings, click on optimize drives, and then just click on the optimize button. And it's going to start to defragment and optimize your storage. And finally, if all else fails, what you can do is you can also reset your computer. And to do that, all you want to do is search reset this PC, click on it, and then go through the process to restart your computer. Now, if you're doing this, of course, you also want to back up your files to another system or an external hard drive. But if you have viruses that aren't being removed, then this is your best last resort option to wipe off everything and have your computer be just as it was on day one. But that's about it. If you guys did like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching. My name is Iovo and I'm signing out.